Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I just wanted to do a kind of more, I guess, focused video um, based off of the eyeshadow collection video that I did. But this video, um, I am going to be focusing on the Juvia's Place palette specifically because um, I know a lot of you guys, you know, they have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and just... There's a lot of them and I have all of them. Um, I keep them right now in this bin right here. They have 12 eyeshadow palettes and then they do have two blush palettes. I'm not gonna go into the blushes palettes on this video because I mean blush palettes are blush palettes. The, the, the eyeshadow palettes I feel like are a little bit more like different and for you know varied and some are similar and things like that. So I wanted to do a video just specifically about the Juvia's Place palettes outside of what I already told you in my entirety eyeshadow collection palette so this one is going to be Juvie's Place focused so I'm just going to jump right into it I'm not going to go in any order I'm literally going go in the order that they are sitting in my you know bin here I'm gonna like this is where I store them I'm gonna go in the order that they are in here not like from their first palette to this like I'm not doing that but I will go into um gonna go through it as it's ordered here here um, so the first one which I believe this might have been the very first one and it just happened to be in the front because it's the smallest but I believe this was the very first one that they came out with it is the Nubian palette and this one has three six nine twelve twelve shades three six nine twelve yeah okay <laughs> This has 12 shades. They have smaller plans. These these are kind of like the size of like, if you want to think of size, like the MAC eyeshadow pans. Um, they're about that size, I want to say. And this is a very neutral palette. Basic, um, pretty much for anyone who does not like bright colors and has no interest in that. Um, I feel like this is a great palette. This is also a great palette to travel with because I feel like, you know, it's super small and you can just throw this in your bag. So I do like that it is very small. They do have a mini version of this, which I think it has like six eyeshadows. Um, this is, I think, the only one that doesn't have shadow names. Not unless they repackaged it and put names, but this is the only one that doesn't have like any shadow names in it. Um, I don't remember if it there there were shadow names on the actual box, but I don't believe there were. But I think this is the first and maybe only one that doesn't have like any type of shadow names in it. Um, I really like this one. I definitely would recommend it. Like for all my neutral everyday kind of looks type of gals, this is kind of the palette for you. I think um, like my mom has this one. I think she has it. If she doesn't, I'll probably buy it for her. But uh, this is a great palette. Like I said, it's really great for traveling. So I would definitely recommend um, this one. Um, like I said, if you're not into like colors and things like that. Next I have is the Afrique palette. This is kind of one of the newer ones that came out like in 2018. Um, one of the newer ones. This one I actually really like. I don't remember if I did a look on here using this. Um, but I really, really like this one. This is actually... I don't even want to say one of my favorites because I feel like I'm going to say that about more than half of them. Um, but I really, really like this one. It has, you know, some neutral shades. Um, more like, I wouldn't even say neutral shades. More transition colors um, for colorful looks, um, but not too, they're not too bright. You know, it's, you know, it has you know a, a blue a green a yellow those are kind of like the brightest colors that they have but it's still pretty neutral to me um i really really like this palette it's definitely great if you want to start dabbling into color and things like that and you know the this this shade right here kofi is so bomb um I, I really like that color um togo i like all this all the shades in here the only one i haven't used just looking at like I can tell I haven't used Fifi, but it's actually a really, really nice red shade. Super pretty. I'm not going to go through and swatch all of these, but um, that's a really pretty shade. A lot of the shades are really buttery and silky. Um, sometimes with some of the Juvia's palettes, the matte shades can be a little bit powdery, but that doesn't mean that they're not pigmented. It just means that, you know, there's a lot of kick up and sometimes some of them are drying, but they're not bad if you use the right base. The next one I have is the Saharan palette, which is this one right here. Another kind of neutral shade 
in my opinion um, this one I haven't used that much honestly not in it not for any particular reason but when I bought this I was transitioning into moving into this place um, so I had bought it but then like I packed it right up and then once I moved in and settled in here a bunch of other palettes came out so like this one kind of got pushed to the back so I haven't used it that much but this is a really pretty pretty palette um, the shade Kia is so bomb um, what is this Iman I really like that one it's kind of like a dual kind of chrome color this is another one that's pretty neutral pretty like easing into the colors um, and things like that a lot of great transition colors like I love this color Jamila and um, Sokoto um, as transition colors I really like those um, so this has a lot of pretty transition colors this is another palette that I would recommend like throwing in your bag on vacation as well um, not only because it's so small but just the colors are very pretty and you can get a lot of daytime and nighttime looks with it when you're traveling so that is another one the next one is the warrior 2 palette uh, actually yeah whatever I'm go like I said I'm going in the order that they're in but I should have that I should have had that in front but this is the warrior 2 palette um, I actually used a couple of these shades um, in this look um, in particular but I really like the shade honestly I feel like this is a great shade I feel like these this middle row here are really pretty blushes like I've used these for blushes I've used them for like transition colors and eyeshadows and things like that but they're really great blush colors as well for deeper tones and definitely some nice mattes this is an all matte palette this is their only all matte palette and I really really like it I feel like it's a great kind of complement to a lot of the other palettes so if you really can't find a transition shade that you want to use or crease color in one of those which is very rare but if you wanted something a little different um, definitely grab this palette um, I really like this when you can create some really pretty matte looks I used to really be into all matte look, eyeshadow looks which I still am but I haven't done one in a while let me know if you guys want to see like an all matte look with me using this let me know I'll do one um, because I, I haven't done one in a long time but this is a really really pretty palette and I want to say almost like a complimentary palette like to go with a lot of the other palettes that are here um i also kind of like the fact that these shades kind of double up as blushes that whole middle row literally the whole middle row even like this color i would use like to kind of contour and things like that if you're a little um fairer this will be a great color for that so i need to look this up with my lights girl here we go i'm tripping um next is the warrior palette this is the one that came out obviously before the one that i did this is another one of my favorites I like this is another favorite of mine i feel like i hate saying favorite when it comes to juvia's place but nonetheless it's a favorite um this one um a lot of neutrals the pants are a lot bigger actually starting with the sizes that are like these the pants are pretty big um 369 369 12 again a 12 pan the shades of the eyeshadows are really really big I like eyeshadow um, palettes that are big like this I like the small ones too but I really like I don't know I like big pans I don't know because I feel like it just doesn't mess up the entire palette when you start dipping in the other ones I don't know it's, it's just a thing but I like these size pans um, this is another neutral run as well um, if you want to compare it to the first one the Nubia palette that I showed you the shades are different so the this is a neutral palette so is this one but the shades are pretty different you can tell like they, they aren't the same there aren't any to me that even look alike um, so they are different so it just depends on <clears throat> what your preference is this is a very kind of um, warm palette really like this one I'm I was completely drawn to this one this one this one came out besides because of the packaging the the inside I was really drawn to it I use this a lot this is like one of my favorite um transition shades right here I think it's called uh, Kano yeah Kano really love this shade oh, love this transition shade it's a really great shade it reminds me of um matte uh blunt but I really love that shade <clears throat> love that shade the shade of it's bomb. Next up is the Tri Palette, which I used this one recently in a 
uh, makeup look. It's actually the look that I did that you're looking at right now. Um, I use this palette. I use most of the shades in this palette. This is a really pretty one. Um, I wouldn't say that this one is a necessity, but if you're a collector of Juvia's Place, then obviously you would get it. But it's not a necessity. Um, you know, this color is really, really good. Kuba is really good. Um, I love this shade. Conga. Chaga. I think it's Chaga. Um, it's the gold and the green that I use. I really like those two shades. Um, this is a real pretty transition shade as well. Um, Ashanti. But it's kind of like a greeny brown. So you just kind of have to be careful when you're using shades like that. But I really, really like that shade. But this palette isn't a necessity. But it is nice to have. So, like I said, it, it's not a necessity. But it is pretty. Um, it has a lot more like neon colors and things like that. Um, so if you're not into that, then I probably wouldn't recommend this one. But I still, I, obviously I collect Juvia's Place, so I'm, I'm going to get it. And I like color and I like, you know, variety. So for me, I like the palette, but it's not one of the ones I would say is necessary. <clears throat> Next is the Dulce, Dulce, Dulce palette. I always know, I don't know if it's Duce or Dope. But it's this palette right here. This was very pretty. Um, I I wasn't a fan of the packaging. Like I didn't. I wasn't drawn to the packaging. Um, but it was pretty. Um, but the inside, I liked. Um, this one to me is kind of. Mm, I can't do an entire look with just this palette like some of the other ones. But it is pretty. Um, I wasn't drawn to this packaging. I don't know why. It just wasn't one of their prettier ones I don't know I don't know why it just wasn't one of the prettier ones but nonetheless the package I mean the the colors are very nice this I, I use this a lot for blushes like this color this color this color a lot for blush I, I use this one a lot too it's a pretty like lid color like dual chrome kind of color but a lot of the other ones I don't really get to use um, this chocolate color it's actually nice I like to use this one on my brow sometimes um, the colors are pretty but I guess when I looked at it, I didn't really connect with it like, oh, these colors really go together. I feel like some of them go together and then some, you know, I use and complement you with other palettes. So this one, again, isn't one that I would say is a must have, but the colors are pretty. I just don't feel like the colors are very conducive together. Like, you know what I mean? Um, next is the Saharan 2 palette. Um, I haven't looked at this one in a while. Um, oh, this is so pretty. Sorry, I, I, it's like the, the memories come back. Um, this is this used to be one of my favorite ones. Not that. Let me just take the word favorite out of this video. It's just not necessary. But I used to grab this one all the time, especially for this shade right here, Zora, bomb shade, bomb shade, and then this one, Hadia, just bomb. Um, this is a really pretty palette. The only thing I think I didn't, not so much didn't like with this palette. Actually, no. No, I, don't, I can't remember what I didn't like. I don't think there was anything I didn't like. I like this one, too. Let's just go with that. Um, I like this one. I like the colors in here. The transition colors were really, really nice. Nice. Um, these were kind of some pretty highlight colors at the top. Very pretty. Again, not a necessary palette, but it is a pretty palette, and I definitely, definitely recommend it, especially for that bottom row of mattes. Those mattes were really, really good in this palette. Next up is the Zulu palette. This is... Um, <laughs> You've been through it, baby. This one been through it. Hold on. Let me clean that off. Can't be on camera looking all busted, girl. This is the Zulu palette. A lot more colors. A lot, a lot, a lot. Very vibrant palette. Love this palette if you like bright colors. I used, I like this one in the summertime a lot. Um, I actually like some of these colors as blushes, especially like this orange and this color down here. Um, this is a really, really great palette. Again, that Warrior 2 palette is a great palette to kind of complement compliments with it because this one doesn't have as many transition shades and crease shades and things like that. It does have like one transition shade, but if you're doing an all bright look, you might not need too many. 
depending on what you're looking for but this is a nice one if you're looking for like a pop of color you can you know come to this palette get you a pop of color and you know even if you have like the Nubian palette and this one you know do an all neutral look but you know I need a pop of purple boom get a pop of purple out of here so this is a very pretty one um I kind of would say this one is like necessary I I think so just just for like if you're a neutral girl but you want to have a pop of color here and there I feel like th do this one too okay um next is the festival palette I didn't use this one too much honestly so this is one that I wouldn't say is necessary honestly I this is another one of those palettes that have a lot of pretty eyeshadows, but I used a lot of them as blushes. Like this one, blush, bomb. This one, um, NEG, bomb, blush. This one here, bomb as a blush. Um, so I used those as the blushes. Um, it has a cut, like a transition shade here, a couple highlights, some pretty, you know, turquoise. This, this black is really nice. It's kind of like a metallic kind of black down here. I like it. I like the palette, but it's not necessary. Um, but it is pretty um, to have. But these, like these blushes, like, and the thing that's different is because I do have the blush palettes from them. Maybe I'll feature them, like, go into those at the end. Um, these shades are different. Like all the ones that I told you that I use um, as blushes, sometimes they're different from these um, that I mentioned in the eyeshadows palette. So that's nice as well because it kind of like broadens um, my options for blushes. So. I really really like this palette specifically for that because it, it you know like half of the palette I use is blushes so I really, really like it again I don't think this one is necessary this collection I think came out with two liquid lipsticks which I did have both of them um, so did the Afrique palette it came out with a, a liquid lipstick as well um, but this palette I like it I really enjoyed the packaging on this one this is like one of my favorite packaging out of all of them this is like one of my favorites besides I think the warrior palette um, and the tri palette I like their those three packagings the most out of everything um, but this is like my like top three as far as packaging go love the packaging love the red love love the makeup I actually want to do a look recreating um, you know some of the this look because um, it was super pretty Anyway, next up is the Masquerade palette. This is the mini version. The only thing that's mini about it is the actual size. You still get it. The, the big one comes like in a, a big thing like this. Um, but they do make a bigger version of this where the pans are bigger like some of the other ones. But I bought the mini one just because I just, I didn't want to buy the big one. I don't know. But I ended up with this one. Again, it still has 4, 8, 12, 16. Yeah. 16 palette. This one I definitely consider a must have. Um, because I, I this these two rows are definitely like neutral everyday shades. And then the, the second two rows are kind of like, you know, pops of colors and things like that. This one is a must have. Like, this one is a must have because you get best of both worlds in this one. You get neutral daytime looks and then some pops of color on the top. This one is a must have. Um, it's again, um, I'm not going to say one of my favorites, but I use this one a lot. It's a must have. This is another one I would actually travel with. It's a little big, but it's not that big and it has a lot of shades, especially if I, you know, I'm feeling a little little bright and stuff on vacation this this one is a must-have guys like even if you get the full the big one um it's just that the pans are going to be bigger that's it but this one this size is good enough if you want to get the big one get the big one but the shades in here are must-haves and this this is this was this was a really good one this is a really good buy definitely recommend this one Next is the Nubian 2 palette. Oh, I really like this packaging as well. <laughs> Sorry. Some of these packages I haven't looked at in a while. But um, this one is, um, I think this is the one that came out after, obviously, the, new, the Nubian one. Um, this one it was a very pretty one as well. I'm kind of, I kind of need to get, get back into it. I haven't used it in a while. Um, but this has a lot of pretty shades as well. Um, definitely, I consider this one a must have. Um, super pretty. Um, a lot of great transition shades. Um, especially this one, Morocco. This, this kind of shade is like one of my favorite 
like tones of transitions a couple deeper crease shades here like Jezebel Kenya um, or a little deeper crease shades Madagascar is kind of a good one to kind of like blend out edges and things like that and then the next shade um, that I really like I love Sheba but I feel like Sheba is like one of those shades you guys always see on me so it's one of my favorite shades but I don't use it here on my channel a lot because I feel like it's a shade that I always use but when I'm not on camera guys <laughs> Your girl is using that shade a lot. Um, so I really like this palette. I think it's a must have. There's a couple pops of color, but not too crazy. You know, it has a blue. It has a nice deep green. Um, a kind of um, satiny purple down here. But it's not too much. Um, if you're, you know, this is still to me like an everyday, day to night type of palette. I really like, I really like this one a lot. I actually, I need to pull her to the front because... I haven't used it in a while, but I like that one. And then lastly is the Magic Palette. Um, I don't know if this one ever came out in a mini version, but um, if it did, I'm probably going to go get that one and give this one to my mom. But I love this one. This is one of my favorites as well. It had a lot, like some of the prettiest transition shades, Zakia, Nana, Koji. I love this palette. They have some really cool colors down here, like Vi, nice dual chrome, uh, Buzo, um, very pretty green. Very nice palette. I love the colors. I kind of liked how the colors, you know, they kind of go together. And I can do an entire look with just using this palette. But if I didn't, I can always go to my Warrior 2 and, you know, add in some transition shades there. Like this palette. Uh, would I say if it's a must have? I would say it's a must have. I don't know. To me, it's a must have. It's very pretty. Big pants. And like I said, if it comes in a mini version, definitely get the mini version. Um, I don't mind the big ones. It's just that this, this at the time that this came out, it only came in this size. I don't remember if it came out with a mini one. I heard it did, but I haven't seen it on the website. But nonetheless, I like this palette. It's super, super pretty. A lot of the shades are very um, just conducive with each other you know what I mean so that's it for the my palette collection as it pertains to Juvia's Place again I you guys saw these in my last palette collection video but I know a lot of you guys were like overwhelmed sometimes with Juvia's Place website luckily I'm at the point where now when they come out with one I just have to buy that one because I have all of them so the site isn't as overwhelming to me um, but I really really like their products um, and things like that I mean you know every company has their ups and downs my only gripe with Juvia's Place is the shipping um, I found that it does take a little bit longer than it used to to get to me and the only reason I guess I am bothered with the shipping because I literally live in the same state literally like four towns over from where they ship from so I honestly feel like when they ship like it shouldn't be taking me two weeks to get stuff two weeks or where to get stuff like I should literally be getting stuff within the week um so that's my only gripe with Juvia's Place but other than that the products are really really nice I can't complain about them at all I have nothing bad to say obviously Every palette are going to have their ups and downs, like some, um, a little, I don't get a lot of kick up with the, most of the palettes, but there are a couple of shades in individual palettes that have kick up, but nothing that bothers me personally. Oh, and I did say I was going to mention the blush palettes at the end, just specifically um, for you guys, because I didn't mention these in my eyeshadow collection video. Um, so I will mention them now. Um, this is the Saharan Blush Palette. This is Volume 1. Um, this is my most used one. I use this one a lot. Because um, all the shades are like pretty much up my alley in the shades that I would use. Um, each of them have six blushes. Um, this pink is so... All of these colors are just super pretty. Um, you can definitely use these as like highlighters and blushes. I use those on my lids sometimes as well. Really, really like this one is super pretty definitely a must have if you were like a deeper skin tone like myself or darker or even a little bit lighter these are really really pretty shades on darker complexions um and then the other one is the saharan um blush volume two and this is this one i don't use this one that often um because some of the shades aren't really that they don't vibe for me i use tau a lot because it's kind of like a lighter orange than the other one I'll show you that one. 
than Toby. Here, let me put it like this. So this is the orange in volume one, and then this is um, this is kind of, I guess, more of a coral color. So when I don't want something that orange, I'll go in this palette. But this palette isn't one that I reach for a lot. Um, these two shades in the middle, I don't really use at all. I use this one kind of like as a, a highlight here and there. Um, you know, I use this one as a transition shade when I'm doing eyeshadow. Um, if you're a fair skin, this one will probably be more up your alley. Um, and, you know, you can use, you know, like this to contour and things like that. But for me, I don't grab gravitate towards this one too much. The only three that I use in here, which, I mean, I guess it's half the palette. I use Tao, I use Lena sometimes, and B once in a blue moon. The tone is a little bit too cool for me, but I'll usually mix it with another shade or something like that. But all the other three, like the these three I don't really use unless I'm using this on my eyes so this one is not my favorite of the two if you have lighter complexion or like you know a little fair this one might be up your alley um, but if you're like my skin tone or deeper you're probably not gonna like this one as much as volume one um, volume one is my absolute favorite as blushes so I always keep this one on top um, but yeah so I wanted to throw those in there before you guys like Say, oh girl, you said you weren't going to mention them, and then I didn't. But yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy. Um, let me know if you guys enjoy videos like this one, or if you want to see me do videos like this for my hair products and things like that as well. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and make sure you hit that little bell so you know every time I upload so you can get more videos like this one and I will see you guys next time. Bye!